Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Silethi. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 2.10 from chapter number 2. So the problem is given the boolean functions f1 and f2. We are given to boolean functions f1 and f2. Okay, then so that, then we have to prove that the boolean function e equal to f1 plus f2 contains the sum of the mean terms of f1 and f2. So it will contain the mean terms of f1 and f2, both. Okay, then we have to show that the boolean function g equal to f1 into f2 contains only the mean terms that are common to f1 and f2. That means if there is some common mean term, okay, between f1 and f2, then that only be the result of this z. And if there is no common mean term, then the answer will be 0. So let us solve this problem. So let us assume that f1 equal to, suppose f1 is the function of three variables a, b and c, then let us assume that it is the sum of mean terms, that is the summation symbol and mean terms are, suppose, because it is 1, so we will write it as m1, okay, and i is an arbitrary number, okay. So this is the one i. We have another boolean function that is f2. Let us f2 also be consists of three variables a, b, and c. Okay, and summation mean the sum of mean terms is m to i. So these are the sum of mean terms. Then we have to show that first one is the f1 e equal to f1 plus f2 equal to sum of m1 i plus summation of that is the sum of mean term of m to i. Okay. Or we can write it as summation of m1 i plus m to i. Okay, we have to prove this one. The second part is, the first part is this one. The second part we have to prove that z equal to f1 into f2 equal to summation of m1 i into summation of m to z okay when i equal not equal to z then we will have m z in m i into m z equal to zero and if i equal to z then m i into m z equal to one okay so, we will prove this problem considering some examples. Now, let us assume, let us assume f1 of a, comma b, comma c equal to a bar b c bar plus a b c plus a bar b c. Okay. So, this is nothing but sum of this one is 2, okay, so it will be 2, this one term, last term is 3, okay, 2 plus 1 is 3, okay, then this one is the, one is 4 plus 2 plus 1, it is 7, so it is, this is the sum of mean term expression for this term. So similarly, we have f2 equal, f2 of a comma b comma c equal to a b c bar plus a bar b c plus a bar b bar c bar so here we will get this is the lowest term okay lowest value so we have this one is 0 comma this one is 3 and this will be 4 plus 2 will be 6 okay so these are the sum of mean terms now we will prove this two part okay this two term so now we will prove this two from now we will prove these two expressions, okay, e equal to f1 plus f2, so we will get, we have to add these two terms, a bar b c bar plus a b c plus a bar b c plus a b c bar, this one is plus a bar b c plus a bar b 
bar c bar okay so here these two term are the same so we can consider only one term so we will so we'll write from lowest to the highest value mean, mean terms okay so we will write this one first a bar b bar c plus then we'll have a bar b c bar plus a bar b c plus a b c bar plus a b c so if we express this function in terms of sum of mean terms so we'll have to write this one this one is bar okay so we can write it as 0 comma 2 comma 3 comma 6 comma 7 so here we can see that in the problem it was given that the boolean function e equal to f1 plus f2 contains the sum of the mean terms here you can see that it contains all the mean terms okay 0 2 3 6 7 0 2 3 6 7 now let us consider the second part in the second part we have z equal to f1 f2 equal to so we can write it as a bar b c bar plus a b c plus a bar b c all into a b c bar plus a bar b c plus a bar b bar c bar okay we will multiply this term these two terms and we will expand it okay so we get this one and this now this one a bar a b c bar then we have plus a bar b c bar c plus and so on So the function becomes after multiplication this one. So we can see that this term a bar a is 0, c bar c is 0. So these two terms are 0, this one is also 0, this is 0, a bar a is 0. Then we have a bar a is 0, b bar b is 0, c bar c is 0, a bar a is 0. So this term is okay. Then the this term and this term are 0. So 0 into 0 into anything, okay, it will be 0. So the answer will be a bar b c so you, if we express it in sum of mean terms we can write it as summation this one is 3 so here we can see that for the f1 and f2 3 is the common term so after multiplication of f1 and f2 it contains only the common term so it has only the 3 only the common term okay so this is the solution of this problem thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below if you feel benefited from this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.